and uh, Wedega. Do or dare jumped outwards. He jumped very awkwardly. Do or dare jumped outwards. And now he's looking to rejoin the group. But I can tell you, he's towards the back end of the field. Brooklyn, Galway, Gladstone, an all-time high. The first quartet to respond. Mr. Robber. Towards the inside, Ballantyne Hall. Then we drop back to the favourite, Do or D. He has the shadow roll, spots them seven length start. Persona Grata, Russian roulette amongst the back rank and gives them about nine or ten length start. In front, the anti-post supported Brooklyn. Ears pricked in front, but still a little bit green there by a length and a quarter. Green cap of Galway's racing in second. All-time highs looking to creep closer, Gladstone. Then we drop back to Ballantyne Hall as they come down towards the final 700. Persona Grata, the favourite, do or dare. He's got the red and white silks on. He's got six lengths to make up, Russian roulette. Homeward bound and Galway makes an early move with a green cap. Brooklyn's on the left-hand side. Gladstone further back in the running. All-time high. Do or dare, he's got his four lengths to make up. Galway, Brooklyn's on the inside. Do or dare, still five lengths off. And Galway hits the front past the 200. And it's Galway going on a length and a half. The favourites under heavy pressure probably won't run a place. And Galway bounced away for the win. Brooklyn, Valentine Hall, all-time high. And the favourite, do or dare, always in trouble. Number one, Galway, smart looking individual at 540, goes on for the win. Brooklyn's in behind these, and the anti-post tactics of do or dare. From the time he went onto the track, everything went wrong for do or dare. He gave all the signs, and he ran accordingly. Brooklyn second. Ballantyne Hall gets up third, all-time high, and do or dare. Then came Gladstone. So number one, Galway. This is for Mary Liley, Duke of Marmalade. Five ran 40 the win. Brooklyn's back second. But as they turned for home, Galway made the move. He took on Brooklyn and then raced away from the opposition. That is the running of race number four. Back to the studio. Right, welcome back. Galway. Galway's won it, and I've got Tony Riven coming to join me. It's a fourth race. Tony, when I spoke to you earlier, you were pretty bullish. I was, Laf, Um, But, you know, the dogs were barking, those other two, and I started to get frightened. The way they spoke about them, I thought, well, I obviously read the form wrong. And This is actually quite a decent horse, Laf. Yeah. He's had a lot of problems. You can see he never ran for six months, a bit, yeah. and then he came back in a qualified maiden, was unlucky not to win it. And I said to Donovan in the ring, what beats this horse will win tonight? So well done to Mary. Yeah. I'm really pleased for her. Where, where is Mary? She she didn't feel like coming tonight. Sure. She just uh, she's had a busy week and yeah. she just thought she'd give it a miss tonight. And um, yeah, Drakenstein bred it. Well done to yeah. them as well. And I thought I was a bit worried the way Donovan rode it. I wanted him to have a bit more cover, but um, he's he knew, he's a he quirky he horse. Was, and anyway, yeah. he, he won. Turned, That's the main uh, thing. Any more runners? Left, we've got one more maquette. I said I'd have three places, those three, and that this happened. will win it. <laughs> Two have placed, this yeah. one's one. I hope I stay on form. Maquette, eh? Yeah. <laughs> All right, Robbie, well thank you. Thanks, Lev. Thank you very much. Yeah. Well done, Don. Thanks, Mr. Up there, up there with the speed and quick and away well. Yeah, Mr. Lev, um, early on, we, well, uh, Mr. Revelin actually spoke to me in the ring. He said, have him about third, fourth, if not a bit closer, depending on the speed. And uh, when I saw Luke going to the front, I thought, oh, lovely. I'll go right up there. We're not going to go hard pace. Uh, my horse did want to get a move on from, from about the 600. I just let him slide on. He got a lot more comfortable in my hands, and uh, he did his business up the straight. Yeah, one well. How's the rest of your quad look? Look, we got small chances today. Yeah. Mr. Leff, um, open place chances and things like that. So we're going to be knocking hard, and uh, 
hopefully we can get another one. Excellent. Well done. Thanks, Mr. Left. Just a big thanks to Mr. Evelyn. All credit to him. He is a difficult horses. And then uh, to Mrs. Lali, back around, thank you very much. And then to my sponsors, please. Thank you. Well done. Thanks. Well, now we've got Venal Naidu from Hollywood Bets. Come on in. He's going to hand over the prize to uh, Sandile in Kondwana. Well done to Sandile. There we go. Sandile is... Uh, He's here smiling for the camera. Well done, of course, to uh, Venal from Hollywood Bets. And there we go. Another very uh, happy groom and uh, great initiative.